Alrighty. Lieutenant, we have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his home world to the monastery at Pajem. Cap uh, capturing the ambassador will be a major coup, or coup for the Klingons or Orions. So we've we're assigning you to make it. Sh uh, we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. Right. Right, so changes to that I made so far real quickly was I changed up his traits. Ah, you guys are annoying. Anyways, I changed up his traits. Basically, I removed the aggressive and whatever was there. Basically, to ground equipment stuff. To ground things. And I changed it up so that, yeah, Actually, yes. I think it was astrophysicist that was actually part of the thing there. Anyways, I changed it up of where I now have Techie and Warp Theorist. Warp Theorist will actually give me more power to my ship's power levels and more of the power transfer rate. Techie will allow me to actually have better hull repair per minute. So this does work. Of course, skills-wise, eh, not really much there. I did add some to shield emitters. I should be adding to a hull repairs, as that is actually more needed. Right, we are heading to Vulcan. From there, we are going to head to the gem so that we can actually deliver a special Vulcan ambassador. And we're going at Magnificent Warp 6.2, I'm sorry, Warp 5.62. Definitely better than Warp 5. The Vulcan system, the second planet of the 40 Eridani star system. Vulcan orbits the... Uh, Vulcan orbits the primary uh, K-class star as do two similar stars. It is a harsh desert world with many active volcanoes and towering mountain ranges. Its atmosphere is thin and the gravity on Vulcan is higher than that of Earth. Vulcans have adapted to this harsh world and developed great strength and endurance. Let's go ahead and enter orbit of Vulcan. We have arrived at the Vulcan system. I took the liberty of contacting the ambassador's aide when we arrived. Tepella says the ambassador has certain arrangements that he prefers when traveling. She would like you, uh, yeah, like to go over them with you. Would you like me to put her on the main screen? Uh, greetings, Lieutenant. Thank you for agreeing to escort the Ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Kalrek holiday. He will be done soon, but the Ambassador is hesitant to use transport technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. The ambassador has his quirks, but his ability to interact with other species is prized by our government. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling to the Riveria by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person, Lieutenant. Farewell, we are to beam down, or at least... 
go into orbit with a shuttle. I hope my shuttle skills is not so rusty. We are ready to land on Vulcan, sir. We, when you are ready to make the final approach, let me know. So you're the pilot. Good. <laughs> Last time I drove this, um, I think I was drinking. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, this is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. A lot of disdain for saying that. Please don't hit the camera next time, and please don't kill me. Okay, after vomiting on the ground for my driver's driving skill, which I will fire him later, we're on Vulcan. Captain the Ambassador and his aide are waiting for us at the temple at the top of this rise. We can speak to them there and find out if the ambassador needs anything else from us before we depart for Pajam. Well, let's get up there. Ah, there he is. Ambassador Soketh. Welcome to Vulcan. Greetings. Do you have any questions? Tell me about Pajem. Pajem is a small world near Andoria. It is sacred to our people. There have been Vulcans on Pajem for centuries. In 2152, the ancient buildings that housed our monastery were destroyed by the Andorians. It was a failing in our logic that led to conflict with the Andorians. We have corrected our error. After the Federation was founded, a group of Andorians, Vulcans, and humans rebuilt the monastery as a symbol of peaceful coexistence and cooperation. Since then, a group of monks has lived there. They study the ideals of Sirach. Do you have any questions? My business is my own. If you must know more, I require a meeting with the abbot. He will not use subspace communications. So if I am to receive his counsel, I need to meet with him directly. That's odd. Do you have any questions? Um, okay, oh well, yeah. Um, are you ready to leave? This is ridiculous. Access to Bajem is strictly limited to preserve the sanctity of the monastery. No outsiders are permitted to land without the express permission of Savin, the leader of the Order of the Priest that maintains the planet. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty, but Savin has chosen this moment to illogically question my visiting the monastery. He is refusing to grant leave for me to meet with the abbot at Pajem. You're a bit emotional for a Vulcan. If I do not complete my journey to Pajem now, I will have to delay it until after the trade conference at Corden is complete, and that could take weeks. Yeah, um, you're impatient. I fear I've spent too much time off-world. While I find it easy to deal with others, my own people can be stubborn. Perhaps you could speak to Savin. I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet, and you might have an easier time than I have. Why do I have the feeling that you're not telling me something? Alright, fine. I'll do what I can. I have my orders. Peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Yeah. Uh, Sokka says you're, you won't permit him to visit Pajem. Why is that? Soketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. 
Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. Now the Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Um, well, that does explain it. Um, alright, well. Don't you trust Ambassador Silketh? I neither trust him nor distrust the Ambassador. I simply do not understand him. He will not reveal his reasons for wishing to speak it to the Abbot, and he refuses to mind meld with me. Normally, I could respect his privacy, but other things I have heard trouble me. Other things? Well, tell me about what you heard. Sokoth has spent more and more time away from Vulcan in recent years, and seems ill at ease in what was once his home. He would not be the first Vulcan to have been changed by his time away from the homeworld, but... I have heard from friends in the Diplomatic Corps that he has been emotional, almost violent. Capella admits he has changed in the past few months. He spends hours closeted in his study and does not share meals with his staff as he used to. Depella says that the stress of the war with the Klingon Empire is taking its toll on the Ambassador. She hopes the peas of Pajem would restore him. I am not sure. What if the abbot agrees to speak to Selketh by uh, subspace? The monks do not use any unnecessary technology. Even replicators are not permitted on Pajem. There is a communications array available to the monks for emergencies. Sokka's request does not qualify. Well, that does answer it. Um, is there any way I can persuade you to allow Sokka to visit Pajem? I will permit it if you pledge to me on your honor as a Starfleet officer that you will protect Pajem from harm. Sokka says that his reasons for wanting to speak to the abbot or private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect Pregem from anyone who would violate its sanctity. Do you have any questions? I've spoken to Savin. Yeah, why doesn't he trust you? How should I know? He is a small man with small concerns. Thankfully, he has listened to reason, and our journey won't be delayed any longer. I am ready to leave now. Is the shuttle prepared for departure? Wow. That's very on Vulcan. Um, well, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, let's go. A very on Vulcan person. Oh, because they just have him where you have to run. Yeah, very on Vulcan. Just wow. <laughs> what a response. A little man with little needs. I'm like, what? <laughs> Holy shit. What a snarky asshole. <laughs> God, am I really protecting the right person here? Is this even the right Soketh? Is he even Vulcan? Don't tell me he's Romulan. I know they both bled, literally bleed green here, but... Lord! Lord have mercy! Alright, let's go, let's go. Uh, I just, yeah. Shuttlecraft, we have locked your flight.
flight trajectory and you are cleared for departure. Live long and prosper. Ah, <sighs> right. We're off Vulcan and we are heading back to the planet. Planet? Oh, no, we're heading back to the ship. Right, sorry. I need to meditate and prepare for my meeting with the abbot at Fajem. If you have no objections, I will retire to my quarters. Please notify me when we have arrived at our destination. Once again, you have my gratitude for your assistance. This is weird. Alright, let's return to the bridge and set a course for Pajam. Yes, let's part the system. Alright, Pajam is between Vulcan and Andoria in a relative sense. Andoria is there, there's Pajam. In a sense, it is closer to Andoria, but it's still within the distance of where Andoria and Vulcan is still between each other, or Pajam is still between those two. All right, Pajam system. A small N-class planet, Pajam was originally settled by Vulcan monks more than 3,000 years ago. Although the original monastery was destroyed during the Vulcan Andorian conflicts in the 22nd century, the buildings were rebuilt by a, co a coalition of humans, Andorians, and Vulcans after the founding of the United Federation of Planets. Let's continue diplomatic orders. Sir, I'm picking up unusual energy reading in this system. We can scan the system before we take the ambassador to the system. That's a good idea. I don't want to find out that we're going to be attacked here. Klingon ships to cloaking. That's brilliant. Captain, we are being hailed by the Klingons. Put them on screen now. You have a foul shape changer aboard your ship. Turn the creature over to us, or we will destroy you. Shape changer? What are you talking about? That foul beast on your ship is an undying. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we Cleons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs die screaming. Uh, tell me more about them. The undying come from a distant... A distant dimension known as fluidic space. They use quantum singularities to move into ours. Undyne are telepathic and physically superior to humans. They see anyone from our dimension as an inferior life form, even Klingons. Soon they will know how wrong they are. Undyne have the technology to be a real threat to anyone, even the boar. But the worst of their weapons is their ability to take our forms. Lieutenant the Undyne have inserted themselves into every major power in the quadrant and seek to control us through trickery and misdirection. You must be vigilant. Oh, what a concerning thing. Why are the Undyne here? You tell me, Starfleet. It was your people who first encountered them in the Encountered the Undyne in the Delta Quadrant back when we knew them as Species 8472. Many among my people want to know just what you did to make them hate us so. Well, do you have any proof of those accusations? Do you doubt my word? Insult my honor? I have killed men for less. I have nothing to prove to the likes of you. Turn that so-called ambassador over to me or face the consequences. Well, I guess we have no choice. We have to face the Klingons, for I have severely pissed them off. Wouldn't be the first time. Right. 
Full powered weapons and forward shield. We're going after the Klingons. We had to clear them out before we actually get the ambassador to the planet. Right, sir. Sensors are showing multiple Klingon life signs on the surface. The monk may be in danger. I recommend that we send an away team down immediately. I agree. C Captain, the situation on the ground may be too dangerous for the ambassador to take a shuttle to the surface. He will remain in his quarters until it is safe. This I do agree. Away team is ready to transport at your command. Let's go ahead and beam down. We need to secure the area and then make our way toward the monastery, which is located at the top of the hill. I'm reading multiple Klingon patrols between us and the main building, sir. Recommend we proceed with caution. Alright, I think we cleared off most of the paths or uh, patrols that is in the area. Oh, item. Alright, we're heading now to the monastery and seek the abbot. Hopefully he's alright. And... Oh. There's an item crate here. And oh, I'm horrible at stealing. <sighs> How sinful. Not just kidding. No, I need it. Alright. Secured the Abbey. That's good. Uh, the area reads a, a secure, Captain. Um, we received an alert from Vulcan. Tapella says she must speak to you immediately. We are going to get patched through the tricorder. Uh, I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Silketh. They have determined that he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. The Ambassador on your ship, the one that I have been working for, is an imposter. You need to be very careful, Lieutenant. This imposter was able to fool Silketh's closest associates for months. He is very crafty and very patient. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Oh crap, he's gone. Searching the ship. Unauthorized uh, use of the transporters. Uh oh. The Vulcan government is requesting that the imposter Soketh be detained and returned to Vulcan for questioning. Whomever. Yeah, whomever used the transporter erased the logs, but I have a feeling that the imposter is on the plant's surface. You have to find him. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. Well, balls.
bothersome creatures. Why should I trouble myself with such insignificant beings when the Klingons will do my work for me? Yes, there is sir. a group of Starfleet officers behind me. One of them is the foul shapeshifter. I'm returning to the ship. Don't let them leave this planet alive. Yes, sir. Well, all right. That's not good. Even the Klingons get manipulated. Oh, sensor scan. Right, we're gonna have to stop the Klingons, or at least put down the Klingons before we actually do get a chance of actually getting to our target. Captain, it appears that the Undyne ha has eluded us. However, I'm picking up residual traces of transport activity in the vicinity. I believe that the Undyne may have beam to a ship hidden in orbit. Recommend we return to Riveria and search for the Undyne ship. We need to find the Undyne and take it back to Starfleet. Right, let's go ahead and beam back. Captain, there's an Undyne ship on an intercept course. Sir, the Riveria doesn't have the armaments to handle an undying attack. Starfleet reports that it is sending ships to assist us, but that it will take two minutes for them to arrive. We have to hold out until they arrive. Captain, if we target their torpedoes, we might have a chance. Okay. All right. The Texas, right out Kirk, Tarev, and Forrest are here. Jeez. Lots of explosions. I think that's how we like it. Okay, scan debris. Ah, oh, Lord, download complete. Oh, the uses Kirk, Captain Frederick. Ah, oh, this is Captain Thalen of the USS Kirk. Glad to see you. The see we made it here in time to lend you a hand, Lieutenant Frederick. Perhaps someday you will return the favor. Thalen out. Oh, that's foreshadowing. Uh, we've recovered the final data transmissions from the Undyne vessel as well as samples of the organic material that was used to create the ship. We need to get all the, this back to Starfleet Intelligence. They will be able to decrypt the messages and tell us more. Alright, let's go ahead and get that out of here. The Undyne was an Undyne? Ha! Yes. The Ambassador was an Undyne. Oh, Lord. I'm afraid their infiltration to, of the Federation goes much deeper than we realize. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create. Uh, I could figure a few things. Congratulations, Lieutenant. And with that being level 5, I do get all the bonuses I was going to get anyways. Right, so... I think... Starfleet's in good hands with the USS Riveria. 
Until next time, hopefully we'll be able to deal a bit more hurt to the enemies. Until then, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys next time.